Thanks both. Now, here's a startling statistic for you. One in four women will become victims of domestic violence. There's been a conference today involving some of the support agencies involved. And the message from them, domestic violence is a crime and should not be ignored. Here's Philippa Meekin. Less than a month after her wedding, Melanie Ellsbury was dead. The mother of three was battered, then strangled by her husband. After the attack, Christopher Ellsbury told police, she got under my skin like only a wife can do. Like many victims, Melanie had endured years of terror. Speaking to me about her experience, this woman asked to remain anonymous. You were just living life on the edge. You just didn't know when the next punch was going to come or when the next slap was going to come. Um, you just lived your life in your own little box. In Wales, half a million mothers, wives, daughters will suffer domestic violence. On average, a woman will be assaulted 35 times before she seeks help. And 90% of disputes are witnessed by a child, either present in the room or right next door. The statistics are grim, but just the tip of the iceberg. Many victims will never speak out. When I meet women from all walks of life, they will say to me, well, I wouldn't put up with that. And I think then it's difficult to understand the constant pressure that women experiencing domestic abuse are under. It's the wearing away of your confidence every day in every way. Meeting in Cardiff, agencies have promised to work together to help victims and insist progress is being made. Police, when they turn up at an event, will take positive action. If there is evidence, they will arrest the suspect. And that's even now, of course, under the new legislation. We can do that for common assault, where there's no clear physical sign of injury. Breaking free from a cycle of violence can take remarkable courage. But this woman insists you can make a fresh start. Don't let them control you. Um, come out of your shell. Be strong and fight it all away because at the end of the day you'll be the winner, not them. Now we've seen it many times on ITV Wales News and now a new report from the National History Museum says the number of whales and dolphins and porpoises dying around Britain has doubled in ten years. Yes, many of them around the coast of Wales and as our West Wales correspondent Giles Smith reports it's causing more and more concern. It's a sad sight, a giant of the sea washed up dead on a beach.